In lesson one of module five, the students um, did some investigations with parallelograms. And we had a really good discussion in class about geometry and studying the shapes. And the students actually know a lot from their elementary experience about geometry, which is a good. So we talked about this shape on the coordinate plane, and we talked about the shape being a rectangle, and we talked about calculating its area. So I taught the students that there's one, two, three, four, five units that represent the length. We also talked about how the length can also be classified as the base. And then we looked at the width, or the height of the shape, one, two, three, four, five, six units long. And we talked about the area formula. Area is length times width. So in this case, it would be five times six. Five times six would be 30. So 30 square units would fit inside this rectangle. Okay, so then we took a moment and we drew a diagonal. We cut the shape in half. And we talked about the two shapes that we formed with the diagonal, which is two triangles. And if this whole shape was 30, the kids and I discussed that this triangle would have an area of 50, and this triangle would have an area of 50. So, 15, sorry. So then after we did that, I talked about taking this triangle right here and moving it, kind of flipping it over the shape and putting it here. Okay, so I just took this, and I didn't flip it, I actually slid it right over here. So it's kind of like I took this piece off, and we talked about what shape that would form. And they came to the conclusion that that was a parallelogram because it has two sets of lines that are parallel to each other. And I asked the class what the area of this figure would be. Well, then they went back to each triangle is worth 15. The whole rectangle was 30. You just slid that over. So the area of this parallelogram is still 30 square units. So then I took the time to teach them that the area formula for a parallelogram is still length times width. Okay, it can also be classified as base times height. And I taught them how to count the base here. There's one, two, three, four, five units in length in the base. And then there is one, two, three, four, five, six on the height. Because the height of the shape is from the top to the So then to find the area of this parallelogram, you still use the same formula. Area is length times width, area is base times height. And you do five times six for an area of 30 square units. So that is how I started class today. And then we went to do the lesson from the module. And we did a couple together. And I'm going to do just this one together. Area equals length times width, or area equals base times the height. I like the word height here. Um, the length or the base here is going to be 6. The height is from the top of the shape to the bottom, okay? It is not this diagonal. And we talked about um, that we never measure how tall we were, are in a sideways fashion. The nurse doesn't take your shoulder to your other foot. She measures you from the very top to the bottom. So in this case, we're going to do 6 times 4, which is 24. And that really means that 24 square centimeters are going to fit in here. Um, and we talked about what that means, okay? One thing, um, the kids did ask a great question. Well, what could that five be used for? Well, the only thing really that the five could be used for in this case is the perimeter of the shape when you add all of the sides together, okay? So then there is another um, question that was really great, and this was actually the most misquist question on the algebra exam, so I'm glad they're kind of bringing this up. The area of the parallelogram is 35 40 second centimeter squared. You're not squaring the fraction. This is just the squaring of the units, meaning that's how many square centimeters would fit in there. The height is 1 7th. Write an equation that relates the height 
space in area of the parallelogram. Solve the equation. Well, I just spent the whole class telling the kids that they can view the equation as length times width, or they can view it as base times height. And I think I'm going to use the base times height. The area, they said, is 35, 40 seconds. They don't give you the base, but the height they give you as 1 7. Okay. So to solve this, this is an equation, a multiplication equation, in fact. And in order to undo multiplication, you have to divide this side by a 7. They're going to cancel. And whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So this would be keep, change, flip. That would give you 245 over 42. And if you wanted to pull your calculator out at this point, 245 divided by 42, you would get an answer of 5.83, and the 3 would be repeating, so we're going to use bar notation for your base. And that would be centimeters. Okay, and that is a preview of your lesson today. And hopefully you um, enjoyed the educanon questions. And have a great day.